Battlefield 5 is the latest entry in the amazing Battlefield series, and it looks to recapture the magic and feel of 1942 with modern gameplay and graphics. But sadly, not only did it fell flat on its face, but utterly destroyed its image at a community desperate for pretty much anything. Even if part of the community is saying things are starting to turn around, things are bad, we're getting underground, it greatly ignores the issues the game and the community is facing. And DICE is finally realizing they screwed up. Battlefield 5 actually had one of the worst launches in the Battlefield history, which is rivaling that of Battlefield 4. It clearly came out needing more work and more time in the oven. It didn't even have some of the basic features, and it was missing some content as well, including a campaign mission, it was missing Battle Royale at launch, the chapters were not even available. It clearly needed more time to cook. The community was more or less shocked about this, and the quality of life in the game was just a mess. Tons of bugs and tons of issues was holding this game back. Plus, the content was slowly, slowly dripping in, and the quote-unquote fan-requested feature of a Battle Royale was more or less an okay add-on, basically. It came in, did, you know, make the community really excited for it, and then it pretty much died out in excitement and hype that not much people are playing anymore. Like, when it comes to Battle Royale, the only games that are pretty much surviving is PUBG, Fortnite, and Blackout. With that as well, the game originally came out with only two factions, unlike the original five factions that 1942 had. Plus, there was not even that many maps to play on, so you pretty much got bored really quickly, and the original going up to rank 50, yeah, there wasn't pretty much less, you know, else to do. Of course, right now, Battlefield 5 is in a much better state than it was, but it should not have happened like this. DICE has released past titles that were in bad shape for its launch and that clearly needed more time and got time to make the games truly shine. But DICE should have already known about this and they basically let this mistake repeat itself again and again and big time with 5. Right now they did add a lot of much needed work to it including uh, most requested features, they added more maps, more game modes, they increased the rank to 500, the recent 4.4 patch, it helped out a lot. I'm gonna give them where credit is due, it helped out a lot. But, there's still a long road ahead. For instance, Al Sudan is still being delayed for its big conquest map. There are major issues that DICE said that they had to postpone, but it's basically, what, two to three months now and that we haven't seen that map? This has also released a statement saying they're extremely sorry for what happened and they'll promise to do better, concentrating more on the quality of life with the game. They had to cancel their 5v5 mode, which they didn't really need to be honest. I don't know why they want to get into the competitive scene. This is Battlefield, this is not Call of Duty. Plus, you also got some maps and stuff content coming out, including the upcoming underground map, which is basically a remake of Operation Metro. Chapter 5 is going to be bringing in the Pacific Theater with two new factions and more maps. <laughs> And we're also still waiting for the rental server program that we desperately need. DICE has seemed to be throwing a lot of game modes actually in our way too, taking away some fan favorites to see what sticks. Granted, they've also introduced new weapons, but some of them made things a little bit unbalanced. Sad to say, there's also been a rampant cheating issue going on with the PC version. There really is no system in place to stop the cheaters and hackers from ruining the game experience. Granted, the accounts might get banned after being reported, but, you know, new ones come in, and it's basically rinse repeat. Now, we got console players saying to PC gamers like myself that they should just play on the consoles, but overall, you know, that's stupid. I should not play on a different platform to enjoy more of a cheap, free environment. DICE, yeah, you really need to get on top of this cheating issue going on right now. I also feel that the identity of Battlefield is at risk. At first, DICE wanted to cater to new players over their dedicated community, which definitely had a lot of issues and controversy behind it. Also, DICE has been releasing maps and content that seem to be aiming more at small local CQB fighting. Stuff including like Squad Conquest and TDM maps. 
Granted, they did release a couple of big maps, including Panzer Storm, which I feel like is one of the best maps they made for Battlefield 5. They also released Mercury, but again, Al Sudan was pretty much delayed and we're still not out yet. I feel like that DICE is making more maps and more modes aimed at small close quarters fighting. This is Battlefield. They should, they should make more maps aimed at large-scale combat with vehicles and air assets. That's what makes Battlefield Battlefield. That's what makes it more unique. I feel like they're trying to be a Call of Duty game, and they should stop ignoring it because it's a Battlefield game. They should have large battles with multiple squads, vehicles rolling in, air assets duking out or helping out on the ground. Maybe, you know, they should even increase the player count to even more, 128 players. Granted, I know that, you know, they said that it didn't add in a bit more fun, but hey, maybe just test it out. Throw it out there. Maybe, you know, might make more fun, a bigger map, everything, something. People have also been hyping up about Underground, even though Underground is only one map that's coming out, and it is a fan favorite of the series originally happening in Battlefield 3, but it's just one map. When people, you know, when people say that this map will get people to play the game again, you might be right. You, it might get people to play again just only for a little while because, again, it's just one map. An infantry focus cluster hell of a map. It's just, again, it's just you spawn, you die, you spawn, you die, rinse and repeat. It is clear the community is dying for Battlefield with both new players and old players of the series that are leaving. EA and DICE has their, you know, game changers of content creators, but trying to keep the game afloat, the game in the limelight stuff, you know, keeping it prevalent on places like YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer, with maybe little to moderate effect. Overall, EA and DICE should have never released Battlefield 5 at the current state as it was back then. They clearly needed more time to work on it. I'm happy to say that 4.4 update did bring in a good amount of fixes and issues, and they have been bringing out more content, but the issues with cheating is still prevalent, and the lack of content is still there. Yes, granted that we got Underground coming on Chapter 5, but I'm just afraid that DICE is just going to slowly drip out more content to reinforce this live games thing going on here. At this point, I would just say, hey, if $15 would get me four maps, I am willing to pay for the $15, hell, even $20 here, if it gets us more content at a faster rate. I'm just worried that DICE is going to slowly drip out content in the point where it ultimately ends so they can put more resources, more time and effort in the next Battlefield and basically abandon ship from Battlefield 5. Granted, if the next Battlefield is Bad Company 3, I'll be really excited, but the next title they should seriously learn from the mistakes of Battlefield 5 because it seems like they hadn't learned from anything from their past mistakes when making it. DICE cannot afford to make these same mistakes again. The community is not as big as it once was. The community is getting smaller and smaller and we're feeling it. Granted, we still get fans out there that are excited to play its past games or the current one, but there's not too many of us left. There's not that many people going out of their way to buy the new Battlefield game anymore. People have pretty much moved on, while the, those who stayed is just only getting smaller and smaller. DICE, please, do not make the same mistakes you did with Battlefield 5 in your next title, because it might be your last.